Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to convert from degrees to radians and vice versa. Let's look at this example. We have been given 5 pi over 4 radians and we want to convert to degrees. As you can see, that pi radians is always equal to 180 degrees. That means wherever you see pi, you replace it by 180. That's all you have to do. So this simply become what? 5 times 180 divided by 4. So once you do this one over here on the top, this simply become what? 900 divided by 4. And that's going to give us what? 225 degrees. And that is our answer. How about this example? We want to convert 9 with the negative sign pi radians to degrees. Once again, wherever you see pi, you replace it by 180. So this simply become negative 9 times 180. And that's going to give you negative 16, 20 degrees. That's all you have to do. And that is our answer. In this example, we've been asked to convert three radians to degrees. First of all, always remember the radians are always represented by pi. So there's a pi is missing over here. So I'm going to show you two different ways you can do these, convert these radians to degrees. So I'm going to go, go ahead and give you first method. Okay, so method number one. Whichever method you like it, you can take it. So first of all, we have what? Three radians. So I want you to just put down this one over here. So three radians, three could be written as three. If I multiply by pi and divided by pi, it still is going to be what? Three, isn't it? So now here I'm going to manipulate a little bit. The top pi, I want you to replace it by 180 since pi radians equals to 180 and the bottom pi that's going to be that you are used to which is what 3.14286. So simply go ahead and take care of that one and that is Pretty much that's going to give you what? So you multiply 3 times 180 divided by 3.14286. And that means th that is going to give you how many degrees? So that is going to give you 100 if you multiply and divide 100 and 71.9 degrees and that is your answer. Now let me show you the second method that is you can do this one so the second method method number two. So in this one, what we're going to do is look at in the right hand side, we know that one radian we recall. Recall, that means we know that one. That one radian is always equal to 57.2958 degrees. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to multiply both sides by 3. So I'm going to multiply 3 on this side and 3 on this side. So that is going to pretty much give us 3 times 1 is 3 radians. When you multiply 3 times 
57.2958 and that is going to give you once again 171.9 degrees. Now that's your choice, whichever way you can do it, take it. Now I will show you how to convert the other way around. That means we're going to convert from degrees to radians. So just look at this one over here that we know that 180 degrees is always equal to pi radians. So what if I divide both sides by 180 divided by 180 and 180. So 180 over 180 is going to give us simply one degree is always equal to pi over 180 radians and we will be using this fact in our next few examples so just keep in your mind let's look at this example right now we have what negative 18 degrees and we want to convert to radians first of all i want you to recall this fact we know that thing that one degree always equal to pi over 180 radians now what I want you to do is whatever this number is negative 18 I want you to go ahead and multiply by both sides negative 18 negative 18 so this simply negative 18 times 1 is negative 18 degrees equal to negative 18 pi over 180 radians and if you reduce them that is going to give you negative pi over 10 radians and that is our answer and finally let's look at this example we have a 450 degrees and we want to convert it to radians and i have already uh taken care of this problem you can see I did exactly the same way I did in the previous problems you have to use this fact that one degree equals to pi over 180 radians and and by following the same steps our answer is 5 pi over 2 radians thanks for watching